Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we're going to be taking a look at Hot Toys, Dark Helmet, and Colonel Sanders. Uh, this is uh, based off New Hope version of the movies. Um, obviously, because he could blow it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spoilers. Could be Rogue One Tarkin. Rogue One Tarkin, yep. Uh, I think this pack was... 470? 475? Something like that? I don't know, you bought it. Something like that. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging. Standard Hot Toys uh, Star Wars, like we were talking about before. Uh, this just continuity, keeping everything black on black with silver streamlines, looks really nice. Drop it down. This is a heavy box, by the way, so if you get this in the mail, be careful with it. Drop it down. You got your nice. Bader, Tarkin, they're, promo. The glamour shots. Yep. This is actually used in the Death Star uh, calendar, 1977. Yep. Um, and, yeah, the back just has the credits like it always does. Don't give it to little kids because they'll eat them and die. And uh, standard Hot Toys Cradle on the inside there. Well, not all of those accessories. With a lot of accessories. Uh, where to begin? So, Vader comes with... One. There's a lightsaber on. With two. Hook stuck inside. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven different hands. We got force hands. A holding hand. Looks like another lightsaber holding hand, a pointing hand. Is it like a, it's like a force hold? Force grip. Does he have a? Is it, mm -hmm. He doesn't have like a force. I guess this is probably his force choke hand, right? I don't know. I'm doing the. This one has the closed fist on it, so doesn't he? Does he does that when he? I choke. don't remember. Also, his helmet's huge. <laughs> yes. Target comes with four additional hands, one pointing, uh, one that's kind of more relaxed, one that's like open, relaxed, and one that is kind of hand open but not closed or... He's telling what to do. Yeah. Uh, when you get this pack, you also get the probe droid. Interrogation droid. Interrogation droid. That probably probes. <laughs> it definitely looks like it does. <laughs> it probes. It probes a lot. And the coup de gras. The coup de gras. Tarkin's chair. Which my collection wasn't complete until I got Tarkin's chair. Tarkin's office chair. Ah! Oof. That's the sound it makes when Vader pushes Tarkin across the Death Star <laughs> floors in his chair. Look at this old creepy man sitting in this thing. Oh, yuck. <laughs> there he is. Peter Cushing. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Cushing. Looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Paint job is really great. Hey, Peter Cushing, got um, all his liver spots. <laughs> um, I was going to say something about... Oh, if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on this... Um, I would say to do it just for the fact that if you want Tarkin alone, it's like 240 and so 470 total for two of these figures, plus all the accessories, the interrogation droid, plus Tarkin's chair, which in its own is worth like four or 500. Um, what I would do is bite the bullet, buy the two pack because you're not going to be able to get a Darth Vader for cheaper than like 300 now. So... That's a good deal. Two sweet figures, two good looking figures. Tons of accessories. You get the LED lightsaber hilt, so you get the Vader. It just looks great. Looks great. And the interrogation droid came with like 15 accessories. Yep, interrogation droid came with like the syringes, the... Syringes and grinders. Uh, Vader also has his lightsaber blade. And you get like this weird prong thing. 
something? Is that a weird prom thing? like make soup or something? Make soup? What is this thing? <laughs> I don't know, it goes in the interrogation droid. There's like a million things that hook into it. <laughs> I don't know, do you ever see this in the movie? <laughs> It's like an egg. This, this is what Tarkin uses to color Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I'm what? pretty much just picturing like a malfunctioning junk droid that comes in the room. <laughs> Vader's like, "You're going to tell us the plans." Blah blah blah. And all of a sudden, that stupid thing comes in. And it's like, oh, god. it's like all this junk coming out of it. <laughs> where does this thing even plug into? No idea. Nowhere on the directions does it even say where everything plugs into. But there's little. <laughs> There's, holes all over. Yeah, there's little slots though that say it should fit in certain areas. So if you figure it out, let me know. Either that or it's also possible that I never even opened the directions. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> there's a little hole on the oh, Ooh, la, la. <laughs> little crater on the side that that thing plugs into, like that. Assembling the interrogation droid. Front egg beater goes on top. <laughs> Says it goes on the other side of this thing. Ow! What are these things thinking? Nipple twisters? <laughs> just clamps on it. It's like it just starts really spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's a, it's kind of weird because like they have these cut like insert cuts for where you think they would go. But then there's like no indents on the actual droid. It looks like they're way down inside the little thing. You're dropping the egg beater. Oh, I got the egg beater. Whatever. We'll show you all the accessories this guy comes with. And this is like the thing that goes into someone's buns hole, and then they push <laughs> that and like prize it open for a it's like a butthole inspection. <laughs> Basically, you don't want to be interrogated by this thing. I told you it's a probe droid. <laughs> it's like, that's it. We're going with this thing. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Just a guy screaming at the death. This thing's twisted his nipples. The other thing's like probing him in the buttons. Tarkin's just standing there like... He's <laughs> just it's it's, it's like sitting in his chair like... <laughs> what do you want from me? He's like, I don't know anything. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I'm aware. <laughs> Name the system. <laughs> it's like a droid's like sparking. <laughs> it's trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Aside from all the crazy stuff that we just found out about the <laughs> interrogation droid, um, they did throw him in with the deal. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Whole madness. <coughs> oh my god, I can't believe what just happened. <clears throat> uh, so that's accessories. Articulation. Whoop. Uh, Tarkin does not have a jawline cut. His head and neck are one piece. He's got some forward and back on there, side to side, all the way around. There's really nothing to hinder that. His suit is all soft cloth, so there's really no hindrance there. Elbow joint, like double elbow? How far that bends? Must have been a gymnast. Yeah. Uh, wrists on pegs, so you can pop them off and place them with the other hands. Hands go up to like, arms go up to like here. Must be like some kind of shoulder pad in here. I think they of... put like a, there's definitely a padding in, along the back. I guess it keeps the suit straight. Yeah. It's got his little riding crop pants. Uh, no really hindrance on that. Forward and back. It's got double jointed knees. The boots are all one piece, so you don't get the ankle cut on these, like the rest of the Star Wars figures. You, there is ankle pivot like this but it's kind of a little hindered because of the boot but you can do what you need to with Tarkin how does he get can he put his hand up under his jaw he gets pretty close hmm he's thinking at the vending machine <coughs> he's thinking about who's, ne who's next he's like should I get a Mr. Pib 
He's like, oh, probie. <laughs> Should go back into Vader's room. It's <laughs> like, no, I'm sleeping. Uh, no. Uh, the paint application, likeness, all that stuff on Tarkin, uh, it's incredible. You don't usually see them do, like, an older, old man <laughs> like that. Do an old man. <clears throat> but uh, it's all there. It looks really good. Um, the hair, the eyes... The, the wrinkles around the lips, everything, it's it's all there. The age marks looks looks great. Yep. Uh, like like we were talking about earlier, though, all the accessories, the stands, the, the extra hands, the LED function um, for the one small price of $475. <laughs> Can't beat that. Uh, no, it's a, it's a good deal for if you're a Hot Toys collector. Um, or a Star Wars fan. Or a Star Wars fan. Uh, now let's talk about... If he's done playing with uh, <laughs> Colonel Sanders over here. Bust his arm off. He's also got his little code cylinders in here and his little uh, chiclets on his shirt. Chiclets? Yeah, these things. It's like a little ch chiclet package. That's what he uses Michael Chiclets. I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> the shield? He got probed. <laughs> the commish. Um, let's take a look at the Vader. Like we said before, this Vader is from A New Hope, so he's a little different than the more iconic, like, Empire or Return of the Jedi look. A lot of people don't realize how much the costume actually did change. Yeah, there's little differences with it a did. lot of pieces. <clears throat> it did. It changed. Um, he's going to sit there and look at his probe droid. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, okay, Let's so... Talk Vader. Vader has his wireframe cut in on his... Uh, soft goods skirt here, which is kind of cool. You can have kind of a dynamic posability there. You have his lightsaber, which is detachable. The blade, all that stuff comes out. You can there's an actual hook on there. You can hang it right on the side of his belt. This one does have LED light up belt. I'm not doing it. I've done it once before. It's <laughs> yeah, pain in the butt to put the batteries in. Have fun. Um, I mean, it's not too bad because the switches are on the bottom here. So once you get them in, you just have to get the belt back around them, and then you're good to go. Uh, the old Vader that Hot Toys did before, um, it had the voice sensor in it, so it was a huge headache, because you had to literally take the head off, the cape off, the chest plate off, to get to the batteries that were actually internal. And then the motion sensor, like he would say like four quotes or something like that, and it was kind of cool. but you turn the motion sensor off and it would automatically turn itself off in like 15 minutes of no use. So it'll be like, hey, I got some friends coming over. I'm going to turn my Vader on and they'll talk and all, everyone's going to be like, oh, that's really awesome. By the time they all came over, I had to strip them down naked. And what? You had to, to turn it on? You had to open him up completely? I turned it, it's like flip the switch on and off again. <clears throat> it was a headache. They should have just put it in his base. <laughs> put some batteries and a speaker in there. Well, you just outsmarted the entire Hot Toys company. <laughs> Um, all around, really cool figure. The The original one had um, soft good gloves also, so it was like a hard plastic from the wrist up, and then down to the elbow would have been like a soft leather almost. I prefer this. Uh, I just feel like it holds better, and the old one with the excess of the suit, when you try to put the gloves on, it would kind of scrounge up, so like his gloves would just be super bulky. <laughs> it was like back to skinny. Oh, these sculpted ones look sweet. They look um, really good. So you pretty much you had Popeye Vader. Yeah, but you can see the actual like lines in there, like where the stitching and stuff would be. Yeah, the all creasing the, and the all that. The detail looks really good. Yep. And then over here we have like a Return of the Living Dead thing going on. Yeah. Which of hands breaking out of the ground. It's Vader's winter collection. And he's like, what's all you do to that, <laughs> that droid? Then we can compare... Uh, yeah, let's compare them. This Vader to Rogue One Hot Toys Vader. Ooh! Take him off the stand for a height comparison. Yeah, about the same. I Rogue actually think yours might be a little taller. Rogue One is a little shinier. How much uh, shinier? Yeah, your helmet is definitely... Slight, shiny. Slightly taller? Um, I think the paint job on your chest plate is way brighter. Yeah. Uh, the chest plate cut is actually different. Mine goes up higher than yours does. <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe the Emperor just had a plethora of um, Darth Vader armor made up. Vader's just, just a man of fashion. Just in case. Keep with the latest trends. Yep. It's like, I need the shorties to armor. <laughs> Polish the helmet. Um, oh my god, you even have them in the same stance. <laughs> We're twins. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to add about this figure? I don't, I don't have any issues with this figure. I love Darth Vader. I needed to add him to my collection again. Oh, um, one of the most iconic villains <clears throat> in all the, of I, I think he's film. like the most iconic villain. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how much articulation yours is, but the, he's got like, kind of like a weird pleather bodysuit. Mm -hmm. Slightly hinders some articulation, and the, the giant shoulder pads obviously limit some arm stuff. Uh, then he's got this giant cod piece. That's hard. I don't know how if yours is mine like bendy. <laughs> mine looks totally different from yours. <laughs> he had, he had extra, Vader even changed out his extra cod pieces. Yeah, he had the extra pad. A long time ago one. in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> he was still protecting his crank. Yeah. He switched up his whole costume when he boarded the Tantive. Um, Articulation's fine for Vader poses. Yeah. But, uh, imposing, fold the arms, put a hand on the hip. <clears throat> little slightly hindered because shins and armor pieces and stuff but awesome looking vader figures yeah and like you said you you, you can't go wrong with a darth vader figure like i'm pretty sure little kids are born nowadays and you could like hold a flash card up of darth vader and they're just like oh it's darth vader <laughs> like everyone just knows who he is um I think that pretty much wraps it all up for these guys. Like I said, if you're thinking about picking this up, if you don't have a Vader, you don't have a Tarkin, just bite the bullet, do it. It's well worth the money. <coughs> uh, they're just great looking figures. Throw them up on your shelf, play with them. So you can probe other figures with them. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know which ones you like more. Um, so is this, yours is a little taller, right? Did you do a measurement on yours? Good. Hey. He's a little over 13 and a half, like 13, 13 and, three quarters. and three quarters. Uh, yeah. He's just over 13 and a half, so yeah. It's slightly shorter. <laughs> Tarkin's Let's find out how guy. tall the, the moth is. About eleven and a half. Yeah, eleven and a half. <clears throat> if aren't you trusting? What if Target just laughed really hard and he blew up Jimmy Smith's on Alderan? Probably did. Oh, you think of the figures? Um, let us know what you're collecting. What yeah, you're let us know what you're for. collecting. What you're looking forward to. Uh, anything that you think you're gonna see at SDCC or toy fairs? Anything? What's like, coming up? What? What do you guys? What are you guys? What are you excited for? Yeah. I want to Hit buy, us up in the I comments. I want to buy everything. Make sure to throw us a like, subscribe. The window just shatters into the screen. <laughs>